Uh, I feel great. Uh, Rosie's a veteran of the sport. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's a good chance for me to try to utilize my skills and, you know, it, it put me in great shape. And I know it's something is I got to push the pace. She's aggressive fighters, very energetic. So it's going to be nonstop. Are you nervous about the fight? I'm always a little bit nervous before I fight. It doesn't matter who I fight and, you know, UFC debut, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a great fight. Right on, great. <laughs> Have you been able to kind of take in fight week so far? I mean, is this just another fight week for you or is this a, you know, a dramatic difference just in the whole lead up to a big event at a big venue on pay-per-view? Yeah, you know what, this is totally different. Like, this is my first open workout. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good and, you know, they, they keep me very busy. So I haven't really been able to soak in the whole experience yet. But yeah, it's never been anything like this for me before. It's, it's great. What do you think right now in terms of uh, here you are making your UFC debut? Uh, it's kind of interesting because here in this division, you know, the, the next two title fights have essentially been booked right now. Are you just not even concerned about that at this case? Or is there kind of that in the back of your head that the title's kind of iced right now? Yeah, you know, it's not right now. You know, I've, in a couple of days I got... Uh, a great opponent next you know she's she's coming out to win you know just as much as I am so I kind of kind of stay focused with that and you know they do have you know the next couple title fights you know but you never know what can happen injuries you know cat's gone already so it's it's just a matter of just staying in good shape and keeping focus on what I'm doing at the time Rosie's fought a lot at 125 pounds I mean is she someone that that you have watched quite a lot of you know prior to this fight or was she someone not really on your radar um you know, I was a little bit surprised myself. Like, I only heard, uh, I think, a couple of days before everybody else did, you know, about the fight. But, because uh, she has fought at 125, but she's she's fought higher, like when she fought Gina Carano. So I've actually always been a, a big fan of Rosie's, and she's, you know, an experienced fighter. She's she's a smart fighter. So, you know, I'm, I'm very excited for this. Is this a little bit different than the last time you were in Winnipeg? A little bit, just a tiny bit different. It, you know, a lot, a lot more people have come out for this one. It's, it's huge. It's, oh, you know what? I, it just feels so great to be even back in Canada fighting. It doesn't matter where I am in Canada. I always kind of feel at home. Is there any extra importance to winning this fight, being uh, the first Canadian fight or female Canadian fight? Being uh, you know, any any fight is important for me to win, but yeah, just the matter that it's my UFC, you know, debut. So, you know, it's. It was a little extra pressure, but they managed to keep you so busy in here, you can't even deal with it. Alexis, okay. predictions on the main event, if I could ask you. Ah, um, tough fight. I'm a huge fan of Hendo. Uh, but, you know, he's... Hopefully he's not watching. He's getting up there a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, if he's, you know, has his, you know, game day, you know, he's on top of his game, you know, today, because you kind of get your highs and lows a little bit more when you, as the older you get. But, uh... I'm, I'm really rooting for him to win, but I'm leaning a little bit more edge to Rashad. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sharing yeah. that. No problem.